Uh, this is Terrence the Gangster Williams, a.k.a. OG Giggity, a.k.a. Mr. Ass Right Back, a.k.a. The People's Champ, Terrence Civilian Williams. I was checking out the documentary. He brought back memories uptown. You know, he went around at Noya. That's the stomping grounds. You know, we all run on them stomping grounds. One thing I would say what I like about this documentary, he didn't... He didn't talk about no hats, what you call what you guys call it today, no down, man downs. He had a, such an interesting story and cussed so much in that thing. It's hard for me to try to do reaction to all the other parts because there's some other stuff I want to talk about. But I, I he, he just doing too much cussing in this thing. Well, I had to edit, and I ain't too much good with the editing part yet, y'all. And the person I'll be having to help me with that, they busy, you know, because I'm doing this early. Anyway, y'all wrong. It's one thing that grabbed my attention when he said, because I did a video. Actually, when I first started sitting down doing my hood videos, I started with him. How he played me in HOD. And right now, let me show y'all what he's saying right now, because he ain't lying. He was a bad boy. Hold on. Writing letters, lying my ass off. I'm gonna tell you something about a good letter writing nigga. Any nigga that's a good letter writing ass nigga, he's a good lying motherfucker. Bro, I used to start my letters off like this. I still kind of remember it. Yeah. As this pen meets this paper, I hope it finds you in the best of God's spirit. They're gonna always put God in there. Best of God's spirit. As I lay down and, and glance at the and glance out my window and see the sunshine, I think of you. Oh my god, I used to be killing them with them letters. Lying my ass up. I ain't even had no fucking women in myself. You see no fucking sunshine. Bitch don't know that. So you just make a lot of lies up. Because everybody won't get mail. When they say mail call, you want your name to get called. I call it fan mail. I used to always get fan mail. All the time. From going to juvenile jail, to going to adult jail, to going to federal penitentiary, to going to motherfucking... Let me tell y'all something. When I had broke out of juvenile jail... I had broke out of Jew without jail. 91. In 92, in 92, when I got caught for the for the crack in the car in the Cali, I went, gave a fake name, got out. The next month I got caught with a with a nine. So I lied on my age. I went to the jail with Boomin. They put us on the third floor. That's in HOD. Whoever, you know, for the ones around my age, the booby age, y'all know the third floor of HOD was a receiving tier back then. Then they seen to all y'all the tiers on the in HOD, South Side, North Side, CLU side, all that that there. Three cells, 10 man cells, one phone, two toilets in the middle, four bunks on this side, two, four, and other six over here on this side. Big old, you know, nice area, big floor, because they have people sleep on the floor sometimes too when it was overcrowded. But um, yeah, I go to I go to HOD. So it happened, Booby was in cell one, I was in cell two. And this girl named Keisha. She used to write me. She was crazy about me. But I wasn't good with the game, spitting the game and talking the smack and all that old stuff. So Booby had a pretty, real pretty, pretty hand around to me. He was bad with it. So when I get when I when I receive her letters, I read her letters. I hear Booby respond back to her for me. He responded back to her for me. Send it all to her. She write me back. I read it. Yeah, man, write her back for me. He write he write her back for me. Did that like about three, four times. Turn the wheel, pack it up. They called me to move to the sixth floor. South side it is. So uh I go to the sixth floor. Bouncer, um, he's deceased now. Up there, he's a tear up up there, actually. That's when he used to give us some little, I think it's two, three minute phone call to call you people right quick. So uh she writes me again. Now it's time for me to write her back. And um, I couldn't match Booby handwriting. So I said, listen, I'm just going to tell you the truth. That was Booby I used to have to write you back for me. 
and she sent me a letter back. Oh, I already know because Booby be writing me too. I said, that dirty dog. So I've learned in my little young green era, don't give the person your whole envelope. I gave, I used to give Booby the whole envelope, the letter with the envelope in it. So now he got all her information. I was young and green. So a lot of my ways, a lot of stuff I learned, I learned it from them. I learned a lot of the cutthroat stuff from those guys, being around them. Because, yeah, I was their little homie, but still the fact remained, they ain't had no picks. No matter how young you are, if you in that game, you living that life, it was on your top. And that's how he got it. He worked me. But guess what? It wasn't no, like, where I was like, man, when I see you on the streets, I'm going to do it. Back then, we ain't trip. Because here's the thing. If a female like you and your homie shoot at her and she give him play, then that's what she wanted. She gave him the play, so you can't be mad with him. And that's what a lot of guys, now, a man, wife, a man, man, woman, that's different. Now, that's that's some, you out of bounds, you down bad, you out of line. That's something I don't get involved with, that kind of stuff. But I'm talking about like a, a female just writing you a letter, because like he said, in jail, everybody want mail. Mail call that fan mail. They want that. So you be posted up, hoping you get a letter. Oh, man, that's all I should do, too, when I went back. Letters. I had like 12 different females to write. Pictures. Send me them pictures. Oh, that's what we all strive. But I would say this too. Booba the dirty self because he had me fussing with a lady. Booba used to, we used to do this thing called lottery. Where you go in when you in our state here. It's just this dollar number. Because like our area code, all right, no, no, not the area code. The first three numbers might start with uh, 586 or 589. So you know, and from maybe uh, from around the Melf to around the Magnolia, you got a certain number, 891, you got a certain number that will start with that. Or you do the uh, the zip code, 70113, 70115, we know that's the Noia and, and the surrounding area. I think the Calio was 70125 or 70126. So we, I knew that's that, that's that area. So... You know, we, we used to do certain stuff like that. But Boo Boo would use my name a lot. Later on, not in the early part. Later on, when he went to jail. And he was, this gangster. So they'll do, sometimes they'll do some certain stuff, hoping that there's a young female that's already on my line, jocking, that when she hit that phone, oh, look, man, my bad guy, well, call this number for me on three-way. Or when we played the lottery, if somebody pick up their phone, oh, I probably got the, uh, man, I speak to, uh, I'm looking for my auntie or my mama. She over there? No, baby, because run. Well, since you're a septic call, can you please call them for a three-way? That was the game we played back then. We used to work them like that. And yeah, I got work. He, 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 uh, one of them Hangtons. I wound up talking to her. Um, and she was like, yeah, she was cool. She was thought she would mess with one of my partners named Lamont or Finneman Clara. And he was like, man, you know, I got such and such hanging. I said, what, you got that big old fire thing? Yeah. I'm going to call on three-way for like, Yeah, call him. You know, I'm going to hit her for you. I can't believe this boy pull that off. So we told she's like, yeah, uh, gangster had disrespect me, a call here, cussed at me. And da, da, da. I said, hold on, what you took? Call on through it. So we get on through it. She telling me about the time. I said, well, yeah, this. I said, listen, from 1998 all the way to now, I've been in the feds. And we got prepaid calls where we pay for our calls. So that's the state. That's not, that wasn't me that called you. So me and her work, we ironed it out. You know, and I was like, wow, did I? And I was, I was in touch with Booby. With a little cutthroat dirty self. Um, but I will say this too. I have done a lot of cutthroat dirty stuff too. So I can't just blame him. But that's 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 one of the ones where I learned where I got some of my cutthroat away from. This man here, and y'all hear his story. And I told his story before too when we, when we used to cut school. Uh, we was on Claudia B House on the second floor on Willow Street. And they were beating the little boy up. He was kind of big, though, big youngster, but they were beating him up. And here come Booby. And I'm like, chill, 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 Booby coming. I'm like, who is he? Y'all beating the dude up already. What y'all scared? So Cody was like, man, he crazy, man. He be going too far with me. He might throw the dude over the belt. Booby was a wild young man coming up. He not capping in a lot of these stories because I was around for a lot of them. Right there with us, a lot of them. 
he switch, he didn't the, the 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 when he got shot up. It, it, it has been a long time, so he might have forgot certain stuff. But I talk about that next. next. Anyway, y'all know my motto. Let's say no to drugs. Stop the violence. Put the guns down. Make sure y'all get tested for HIV and AIDS because y'all need to know y'all status. We got the nine profit. They need us. The Instagram need us. Third war. The movie. Them boys at war. The reality show. Surviving without bird, man. Check out my merch. Thank y'all for all love support. Wow. Bing, bing.